Nation. bucket and those two very old people on the other side of the bed are the father and mother of mrs. bucket this is mr. bucket and that is mrs. bucket the little girl sitting right there is Charlie bucket their only kid here you go grandpa Joe cabbage soup every day nothing but cabbage soup cheer me up Charlie tell me the chocolate news Wonka's got a new bar out Fudgeable or mallow base? Mallow, with flavor shifters. Flavor shifters, my. So, Papa, what's the latest cat count? 2,149,976 perfectly installed toothpaste caps, Charlie. Do you think that I might work in a toothpaste factory one day? Let's hope not, Charlie. What kind of positive thinking is that? Charlie's gonna work for Mr. Wonka making chocolate bars. Now, Grandpa Joe, don't go filling the girl's head with dreams of candy. Charlie's from a long line of distinguished candy men. And women. But Wonka hasn't hired anyone since Slugworth's spies stole his candy balloon recipe. Wonka was so angry, he gathered all the workers saying, I'm sorry, but you all must go home. Then he locked the gates of the factory forever. But Mr. Wonka does still make candies. I could smell them on my way to school. Yes, but no one goes in and no one comes out. Shadow workers. Maybe the undead. Who knows? Grandpa Joe, you're going to give Charlie nightmares again. What's she saying? She's making bathtub gin. We're playing gin? I'm in. Charlie, run out and see if anyone is done with the newspaper. Okay, Dad. You'll have to finish feeding Grandpa Joe. Here you are, Dad. Here's your cabbage soup. I thought we were playing gin. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Charlie, your soup's getting cold. Here's the paper, Dad. Well, I'll be a chocolate crispy. Will you look at this? Wonka, Wonka factory to be open to a lucky few. Do you mean people are actually going to be allowed inside the factory? Read what it says. Mr. Willy Wonka has decided to allow five children into his chocolate factory. The lucky five will tour the factory and receive a lifetime supply of Wonka chocolate. Tour the factory? A lifetime supply of chocolate? Read on. Five golden tickets have been hidden among five million ordinary candy bars. The finders of these golden tickets will win the tour and the chocolate. That's a million to one shot. The tickets could be anywhere. How exciting. I wonder if any of them haven't found yet. That paper's a day old. Charlie, Charlie, can you imagine winning? Touring the factory? Meeting Mr. Wonka? Seeing for yourself all those undead zombie workers? Eating a lifetime supply of chocolate? Eating a lifetime supply of chocolate. One o'clock already. Charlie, you'd better hurry. You'll be late for school. It's back to the twists and turns of toothpaste for me. Goodbye, Mr. Bucket. Goodbye, Mrs. Bucket. Charlie, remember, we may be starving and we may be poor, but the Bucket family always thinks positive. Write it in purple ink, Charlie, purple ink. Positive. <laughs> So Mr. Bucket went back to the toothpaste factory while little Charlie Bucket was off to school. But on the way, Charlie heard some exciting news. Did you hear? Stop just got the first golden ticket! Already? When? Just now! Look! would find this golden ticket. It's so much candy vandy, it was almost impossible for him not to find one. In fact, you could say we've been training you for this day ever since our little pudgy fudgy was born. Training? Oh yeah, pretty guns will eat much as Augustus does. He has to be trained from morning to night eating all kinds of foods. Be 